redandblack.com. moment but uh, anyway we're here we're excited uh, we're thankful first of all uh, very very thankful for uh, our assistant coaches that have uh, worked so hard on this class uh, as a matter of fact we've already been preparing for 2010 and beyond it just it's not even a recruiting season anymore it's just an ongoing thing and, uh, it's, it's an awful lot of work and uh, Rodney of course is I've been organizing our recruiting efforts uh, for the last 10 years in Georgia and has done a fantastic job. And, and I'm thankful for the job we've done, Rodney, and, and the staff here. Uh, we've got uh, so many other people to thank uh, within our program, uh, our uh, recruiting secretaries, our recruiting uh, uh, help, uh, Charlie Cantor, and, and uh, of course, Miss Condi Conlon. And uh, Conley, and uh, there's so many people. Uh, Christy, who works in our office, and uh, you know, there's just a lot of people that have done a lot of great things for us. Our, even just uh, for a recruiting weekend, to have this building look spotless, our custodians do such a fantastic job. We have uh, uh, our strength uh, coaches are uh, uh, Ron Corson and our sports medicine department. Uh, even the grounds crew, when when they go look at the at our stadium, you know, the grass is just looking perfect. And, you know, it's just a lot of people that put in a lot of work. Even our own players, you know, they come in and they, they host for us. Uh, we have some young ladies across our campus uh, and some hostess groups that, that spend their time to make all this happen. So, you know, I want, I want to give thanks to all those people and uh, also just say um, how excited we are about all the young men that have decided to become Georgia Bulldogs. We've got uh, we had 17 guys committed uh, from the, for quite some time now, and 17 guys are coming to Georgia. We've had not one uh, waiver, although there's been an awful lot of battling going on that people don't necessarily hear about. A lot of schools uh, are still, or have been fighting like mad to, to try to steal some of our guys away from us, and uh, our guys have held true, and that's a tribute to them and their, uh, their families. Just the kind of the kind of men that uh, we're dealing with, you know, weren't weren't uh, the kind of guys that were going to be wishy-washy with their decision. It's also a tribute to our coaches and the job that they did of uh, you know telling telling them uh, telling our recruits uh, everything uh, in a very positive way. We're, we're always going to spend Georgia in a positive way. We're always going to talk about our our program and not other programs, uh, and we're always going to tell them the truth. So there's no. There's no secrets. There's nothing that can pop up uh, that can bite you in recruiting and, and hurt you in the long run because we can tell them the truth from the get-go. I think that's a tribute to the way, uh, you know, to the way we do things around here. Um, of course, there's a long list of young men that are uh, on this list, but there's two of them here today, I believe. Uh, Zach, Zach Mettenberger right there from Oconee County High School locally here, and then Aaron Murray sitting right next to him. Uh, from Tampa Plant High School, and uh, we're just so thankful they're here right now. They came at the mid-year. Dallas Lee is also a mid-year enrollee, but he had uh, a little signing uh, to do at his high school and was, was not be able to make it back in time, and Dallas uh, won't be available. But uh, these guys will be available uh, at the end of this press conference. Uh, our coaches uh, will be available at the end of the press conference. Even Coach Searles will be available at the end of the press conference. So that's something new and uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway with that I was going to turn it over what's that will we be able to talk about offensive line process yeah he can talk about offensive line process yeah, absolutely matter of fact if Dennis Lee was here he was actually going to be able to talk today but uh, we'll wait till the next spring for him uh, <laughs> what I was going to do now <laughs> what I was going to do now is uh, turn it over to Coach Garner and then after Rodney's finished we'll let y'all ask any questions you like uh, I do have my phone here. If it does happen to ring and the right person is uh, shows up on the screen, I might have to excuse myself. So that's uh, not quite done yet, I think. So Rodney, have at it. Okay. All right. Well, just like Coach Rick says, a very exciting day. 
uh, here uh, for signing day for, for two reasons for me. It's been 365 days since last year, and I get the opportunity uh, to redeem myself uh, with my wife. Uh, uh, let, let everybody know how honored I am and uh, very privileged to be the husband of Kim Garner. <laughs> very, very excited. She was uh, your first pick, wasn't she? She was my number one pick. <laughs> She's a five star. And, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm very excited about that. Uh, I want to clear that up. I think it was a misinterpretation last year. So I hope it gets the same type of YouTube action they got. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, we are we are extremely ex excited about this class. Uh, you know, just like Coach Rick said, you know, a lot of the excitement and glitter of the class. You know, we don't get as much on signing day because you know so many of our kids were committed so early, uh, and we didn't have any guys to defect uh, you know openly. But you know, like Coach Rick said, there were you know, there were other schools still you know, hammering away even to the twelfth hour last night trying to get kids to change their minds. But that just shows you that we have the right type of kids that are committed to this program. And we're excited about these kids. And we're excited about the direction of the program and where they're going to help us go in the future. And uh, we feel like we were able to meet all our needs. Uh, if you look at the class, it's a very balanced class. Um, if you look at it across the board, there's pretty much every position covered, uh, except for probably specialists. So, uh, but, you know, we feel like we were able to go out and address the needs of this team, and we feel like we were able to attract the caliber of student athletes that we would want to represent the University of Georgia and represent our athletic program. Uh, so we're extremely excited and happy, and we can't wait for the, uh, the entire class to be on campus here in June. The other thing I'd like to mention is, uh, and I, I say it every year because we tend to uh, get the majority of our classes wrapped up pretty early. I think our coaches are very thorough in their evaluation of these young men. They do a great job of getting the offers out at the right time. And, um, you know, a lot of the guys are very excited to, to jump on board early and, and, and get it over with, go through their senior year where they can concentrate on their, on their season, on their academics and their leadership, and not to worry about the, the madness of, of the process. Uh, I do think a lot of people enjoy the drama on signing day. They, they, they want something... Uh, you know, exciting to happen on that day, but I can promise you, just take those two guys for example. If they decided this morning they were going to Georgia, there would be an explosion in the building. You know, everybody would be so jacked up to have two of the finest quarterbacks in America, in America to come to Georgia. You know, both uh, elite and the finalists, uh, both guys that uh, have tremendous potential. And, uh, you know, so, you know, if, if they were, if they waited the last second, Everybody be going crazy right now, and you could say that about any one of these guys on this list. So, uh, you know, I'm not all I'm not all about all that drama. I'm about uh, taking care of business and in the right way, getting the right kind of people, and uh, you know, getting guys that want to be bulldogs to the point where they're not going to be, you know, uh, where they're not going to waver from uh, coaches coming in and trying to uh, trying to change their minds.